Someone is talking about power from above. You need power from above in your life. You need power from above to be directing you. Bible says, what is from above is what? Above all. Oh, Father, we thank you. Yes, I'm about to hear your word. We need your presence. Lord, in fact, the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Come down in full force. Come and bless your children. Come and remember your children. Amen. As you say in your word, all has seen and conscious of glory, but you receive the glory through Jesus. The Amen. blood of Jesus Amen. cleanse them and make them clean. Amen. And the word of God are going to hear today make them clean. And they'll be blessed in this world and world to come in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us sit in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. 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 Power from above. Power from above. That's why at the time when you're singing this song, you don't understand what you're singing. There is a power from above. Anything from above is above all. When the power from above blesses you, no kingdom of darkness will stop it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bible says in Isaiah 59:19, it says something there. Okay, the promotion is not Who has microphone? Isaiah 59:19. Power from above. Bible say, except you receive nothing unless it come from above. Anything that you got through marriage or through occult or through anything that is not from God, Bible call it nothing. You receive nothing. Okay, Isaiah 59, 19. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Amen. Amen. It's telling you something. Those that fear the Lord, those that fear the Lord, for those that you need to fear the Lord. Say, so when you fear the Lord, when the enemy comes like a flood, you know, understand? When the enemy, when they want to attack, they don't come in one. They don't come in two. They come in many. They come like flood, this water, river, womb. That is how they attack. They don't come, they talk, they come in group to attack. And Bible says, when you fear the Lord, when they come to attack you, both physically or spiritually, say that the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against them. Not even you that will fight, that the spirit of God will fight for you. That enemy coming like you need to be connected in the spirit. So that for the spirit of God to fight your battle without you even knowing. They didn't say here that you will know. They will come in love. But the spirit, that's why when you are connected, this will be at your home. You will not know the secret battle that God has been fighting for you. You'll be thinking that God is not doing anything for you. God has been doing things for you. Maybe the way you plan it is not the way when God planned it. But he has been fighting secret battle for you that you don't know. Maybe God plans it another way. You are thinking it will work in A1, but you don't know that God is planning it in A2. Because our thoughts and God's are not the same. God knows everything. So don't think that God is over. When you are sleeping, you don't know what is happening. When you are sleeping, you don't know spiritual kingdom that comes to you in your bed and starts whispering to some evil to you. You don't know what God has been doing for you, how angels will chase them away when you are in the Lord. Praise the Lord. When you are connected in the Lord. Maybe you go for appointment tomorrow. The spirit will come in your sleep and do whisper in your ear. The appointment will fail. When you are spiritually connected, God will lift up the that this condition is for everybody that are Christians. God will lift up the against that spirit and chase them away. You will go. You will succeed. And you will not know where the source of your miracle comes from. You will think that is your own power. That is power from we are above. Jesus says, without it, we can do nothing. So anything you are doing in this world, whether you are a Christian, whether you are a Muslim, you do all through Christ that stress you, that taking that way through another God. Even people serving Juju, even people serving Hindu, Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that says me. We go, Jesus says, without me, everybody can do nothing, including Hindu, including Judaism, including Judaism, without Jesus. Those, those, both, both those that believe in Jesus, both those that does not believe in Jesus, that's why the Bible says, for God so loved the world. He didn't accept, say, for God so loved only Christians. Or for God so loved only believers. God so loved the world that he gave his only beloved son. Whoever believes in him shall never perish. 
By the time I said, God will not save everybody. That's why Bible said his rain fall on the good and the bad. So it's left for you to repent. So the spirit of the Lord needs top standard every time to fight for you. But you don't know. As you are here today, any enemy that has been tormenting your life, both physical or spiritually, to fight you, they come in one or they are coming like a float. Let the spirit of the most high God lift up a standard against them today in Jesus' name. Amen. And send them to abyss in Jesus' name. Amen. Look, you that are here today, anybody here, spirit is fighting. They are coming in one, they are coming in two to attack you as you are here today. And this someone is from above. The spirit of the most high God has lifted standard against them in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you are free. You are free. You are free. That's why John Bible say in John, can someone read 327? It says something there. John 327. Praise the Lord. John 327. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from above. You receive nothing. Whether you receive it from Mary Wanda or from all God or from Mary. Bible regard all of them as what? Nothing. I will say you receive nothing unless it is given to you from above. Why did he call it nothing? It will vanish. As far as it's not God that gives it to you, must vanish. Even if they got it from any kingdom, one day it will disappear. The Bible says, blessings of God make it one rich. And do what? I don't know. Sorrow. When God gives you, when God bless you, He yeah, blesses you. Bible says He has no soul. The kingdoms of evil are sold to their blessings. What you taught is a blessing to you. But blessings of God, you receive nothing unless God gives you. I prophesy in your life. Any blessing God has given you will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. And anything that is nothing in your life, because I want to remove those ones now. Maybe you receive it from Marine or Queen of the Coast or Oloku. And that disturbing you because Bible count them as nothing. You receive blessing, but you don't have it. Bible sees it as nothing. They will disappear now. And the power from above will release his own blessing that lasts forever in your life this week in Jesus' name. Amen. Unless it's come from above. That's why Bible says again in Luke 2:7. Don't take from where you have started. Think from where you have ended. Power from above. Power from into the, into the power from above. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Luke 2 verse 7. And she brought forth her first born son and wrapped him in a sweaty clothes and lay him in the manga because there was no room for them in him. Praise the Lord. Who was she talking about? Jesus. They wrapped him in a manger. There was no room when he was born. No place to wrap Jesus. No place to keep Jesus. Where did they keep him? In the animal's house. You do not think, you don't supposed to think how you started. What you are thinking is how you ended. The whole Jesus, when he was born, he was wrapped in a manger. Kept in a just small place. You people see during Christmas how they decorate one room, they put three angels. It's just that type of place Jesus was lying when he was, was born. But not, he started from poor, but ended up rich. Jesus grew up after performing miracles. Jesus, if he needs money, he will command money. Have you seen in the Bible where he said, Peter, when they tax, we are telling Jesus to bring money. Go and open the mouth of the fish. And when he has power to command, he was born in the manger. He fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fishes. He's a rich man. The tax, we are requesting money from him. Jesus said, commanded, he commanded money inside the mouth of a fish. Peter go and Peter went and opened the mouth of him. But a lot of money. He, anything Jesus wants, he can do it. He died and rose on the third day, seated at the right hand of God. So don't think at where you are started. Think from where you are ending. Don't think where, don't think, maybe you are setting your life, you say, don't think from where you started. Think where you are going to end. Where did Jesus end now? He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So anybody here that started, like a manga, God is giving you the grace to end like a king in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God will give you the grace to end like a king in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me tell you something. I want to tell you something. Anything.
thing you are doing in this world, you did not suffer in it. That thing is not from God. Anything you are doing, very, very easy for you to get. I want to tell you, you get it so smoothly. No obstacle. It's not from God. You must pass through obstacles and temptations in order for God to try your faith. For example, Christ will lead you to your glory. So anywhere you are started, you are thinking that God will not remember you. God will remember you this week in Jesus' name. Amen. God will remember you this week. Finally, Mark 28, 18, all power is given to you. But I will say who is in you is greater than who is what in the world. Mark 28, 18, it says all power. You are going to ask you are here today. You are going to worship God in truth and spirit for you to receive the power from the Most High God. Praise the Lord. Matthew, 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 all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power is given unto Jesus in heaven. Okay, which power do you fear now? Jesus is in you. Bible say, who is in you? It's greater than this in the world. Holy Ghost is in you. Jesus is in you. He said, your life is hidden. We are in Christ. And we are again in Christ. And we are in God. And that person, your life is in it. That is hidden in it. It's telling you that all power is what? Given to you. Not some power, which means when all power has been given to Jesus, which power will you fear again? You fear Ulu or Bob or Robin or Mary or Hot or Witchcraft. Which one will you fear? By the God you are serving is having our power. Why are you are afraid because you have not given your life to Christ? Why are you are afraid because you are not holy? You don't read the word of God. You are going to stand up now. You don't read the word of God. That's why you're afraid. You are afraid. You are afraid. You need to be holy, connected in the spirit, connected in the word of God. You are going to be holy so that those powers you are fearing, you will not fear. Many of you here, all of you send money home because of fear of powers. When they call you, hey, one man come. This spirit is saying, one come attack you, go send money, go. Because of fear. Why Jesus, your servant, you cannot tell that people that call you, say, Bible say, all power is given to Jesus. Which power will not attack me? It's your faith. Bible say, faith covered by hearing. Hearing what? The word of God. When devil sees your faith, he will run away. He said, faith that quench the fury that of the wicked one. It's faith that quench it. When you start boldly and tell them no, they will run. Bible they resist the devil. He will do what? Run. He will flee. Begin to ask God for forgiveness. Ask God for forgiveness. If then you are sin against him, forgive and sanctify with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you and make you clean in Jesus' name. So after me, Lord Jesus, come into my life, forgive me my sins. I believe that I'm a sinner. Jesus died. And God raised my third day to set me free. Forgive me my sins. I surrender my life to you. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name from the book of death. From today, I dedicate my whole life and the entire family to the hands of God the Father, God the Son. God and God the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Then we are going to pray now. And prayer point, we are going to pray. It's very, very tough. But we say, if you, this is the prayer we pray, the money can want you to pray it again here because it's very strong. God, you use that prayer to remember you because there are mountains that are blocking your way from which There are many people that are having delays in their blessings. A mountain is which involved. There are mountains. There are forces that need to be removed. For you to reach where you're supposed to reach. So Bible says if you have faith as a master city, we say the one move from here to here, it will disappear. And Bible says, Who are thou, O grandmother? Before the Bible that shall become a place. So you're going to pray now. 